Chapter 15 David now built several buildings for himself in the city of David. He also prepared a place for the ark of God and set up a special tent there to shelter it. Then he issued these instructions. When we transport the ark of God this time, no one except the Levites may carry it. The Lord has chosen them to carry the ark of the Lord and to minister before him forever. Then David summoned all the Israelites to Jerusalem to bring the ark of the Lord to the place he had prepared for it. These are the priests and Levites who were called together. There were 120 from the clan of Kohath, with Uriel as their leader. There were 220 from the clan of Merari, with Asaiah as their leader. There were 130 from the clan of Gershon, with Joel as their leader. There were 200 descendants of Elisaphan, with Shemaiah as their leader. There were 80 descendants of Hebron, with Eliel as their leader. There were 112 descendants of Uziel, with Aminadab as their leader. Then David summoned the priests Zadok and Abiathar, and these Levite leaders, Uriel, Asaiah, Joel, Shemaiah, Eliel, and Aminadab. He said to them, You are the leaders of the Levite families. You must purify yourselves and all your fellow Levites, so you can bring the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place I have prepared for it. Because you Levites did not carry the ark the first time, the anger of the Lord our God burst out against us. We failed to ask God how to move it in the proper way. So the priests and the Levites purified themselves in order to bring the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to Jerusalem. Then the Levites carried the ark of God on their shoulders with its carrying poles, just as the Lord had instructed Moses. David also ordered the Levite leaders to appoint a choir of Levites who were singers and musicians to sing joyful songs to the accompaniment of lyres, harps, and cymbals. So the Levites appointed Heman, son of Joel, Asaph, son of Berechiah, and Ethan, son of Keshuiah, from the clan of Merari to direct the musicians. The following men were chosen as their assistants, Zechariah, Jaziel, Shemairamoth, Jehiel, Unai, Eliab, Benaiah, Measeiah, Matathiah, Eliphelehu, Mikneiah, and the gatekeepers Obed-Edom and Jehiel. Iman, Asaph, and Ethan were chosen to sound the bronze cymbals. Zechariah, Aziel, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Unai, Eliab, Measeiah, and Benaiah were chosen to play the lyres. Matathiah, Eliphelehu, Mekaniah, Obed-Edom, Jael, and Azaziah were chosen to play the harps. Keneiah, the head Levite, was chosen as the choir leader because of his skill. Berechiah and Elkanah were chosen to guard the ark. Shebaniah, Joshaphat, Nathanael, Amasai, Zechariah, Benaiah, and Eliezer, all of whom were priests, were chosen to blow the trumpets as they marched in front of the ark of God. Obed-Edom and Jehiah were chosen to guard the ark. Then David and the leaders of Israel and the generals of the army went to the home of Obed-Edom to bring the Ark of the Lord's Covenant up to Jerusalem with a great celebration. And because God was clearly helping the Levites as they carried the Ark of the Lord's Covenant, they sacrificed seven bulls and seven lambs. David was dressed in a robe of fine linen, as were the Levites who carried the Ark, the singers, and Kenaniah, the song leader. David was also wearing a priestly tunic. So all Israel brought up the Ark of the Lord's Covenant to Jerusalem with shouts of joy, the blowing of horns and trumpets, the crashing of cymbals, and loud playing on harps and lyres. But as the Ark of the Lord's Covenant entered the city of David, Michal, the daughter of Saul, looked down from her window. When she saw King David dancing and leaping for joy, she was filled with contempt for him.